From uncompromising heat to unrelenting storms, you never know quite what you're going to get here in Kuala Lumpur. The inaugural race in 1999 was the last of four Grand Prix victories for Northern Ireland's Eddie Irvine. I wonder who'll be adding their name to that history today. Five lefts and ten rights make up the 15 corners of Sepang's 3.4-mile circuit, a track where the weather always threatens to play a deciding factor. The drivers will be subjected to forces in excess of 4G and heavy braking zones in four of these corners, two of which come at the end of DRS zones into Turn 1 and to Turn 15. And alongside me today to talk you through all that is Anthony Davidson. And welcome again. It's good to be back in Kuala Lumpur, isn't it? A lovely country, Malaysia, lovely circuit, and a race that, that tends to be quite hard to predict. Yeah, it does indeed. There are a lot of high-energy corners that make the rear tyres suffer around here. Coupled with the excessive heat, that makes it difficult to keep your tyres in the right operating window. And of course, in previous years, we've come here very early in the season which shows a potential reliability variable in there as well. Well then, after an exciting qualifying session yesterday, let's take a look at how the cars line up. It's McLaren in pole position then. And starting alongside in P2 is Sebastian Vettel. Looking down the rest of the grid, we have Raikkonen, Bottas, Lewis Hamilton and Ricciardo, Verstappen, Grosjean, Ocon and Carlos Sainz, Alonso, Magnussen, Nico Hülkenberg and Perez, Kvyat, Massa, Jolian Palmer and Lance Stroll, Verlein and Marcus Ericsson rounds off the grid. Now it's almost time to lights out, so let's go down to the track. You've done well to put it on pole, but we've still got work to do. Try to cover the inside line off the start. All right, boys, hello and welcome to F1 2017 in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. We are going to be starting from pole position after timing the qualifying to perfection, setting our fast lap as soon as the first drops of rain started pouring onto the track. So we are good and starting first. It's going to be difficult to protect it for long, but we're going to try our best gonna have 28 lap race which is gonna be a two stopper I don't think there's any chance somebody can do it on one so we're gonna be doing a two stopper no rate inside so we're doing super soft 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 uh, and let's see how that pans out definitely gonna be interesting 45 minutes expected race length Whole 10 minutes shorter than the uh, clutch bite is good, gearbox is responding normally. Make sure to warm up the tires and brakes, warm the tires and brakes throughout the lap. Whole 10 minutes faster than the uh, expected time for the uh, previous race in Singapore. First time this season I'm actually leading the pack. This circuit is quite interesting. I didn't have a lot of uh, dry practice and I'm one of the only ones up front with uh, super soft quite a few people on softs there which is interesting they're trying to reverse strategy I guess they're waiting for rain in the middle of a race so they can just switch not gonna happen I'm afraid I looked away for a second. The old familiar hitching is back. Shouldn't be too much of a problem. Keep the 
Damage with an acceptable. 95s is good. Slow down a little bit to collect as many cars as we can as we are being put on pole. The pole is on the inside. I have to beat Fettel clean. Otherwise, it's going to be a shit show in turn two. I'm going to have to go around the outside there. The rest, the rest of the grid is forming up. That's what I said. Alright boys, let's have a good one. Come on. I don't expect to win though. I didn't have the best pace. Have a decent launch. We're going three wide. A bit of bumping and grinding, but we held our inside. Bottas was very fast off the line. Now get into the rhythm and keep it rolling. The car is heavy. Keep that in mind. Right, negotiate the first few laps. Bot has got both Ferraris on the start. So despite not the best qualifying, the Merc is there. A little bit loose in the hairpin, that hairpin is gonna give me trouble all day. Alright, first lap done, we're still in the lead, but Bottas is very close. He wants our blood. That he's much faster than us, despite us being on a faster rubber. He's seriously gaining us. Even without DRS, so when the DRS activates, it's gonna be near impossible to defend. However, the pair of Ferraris has been too busy playing their games. There is a tiny bit of a gap. Oh, shit, a little bit too tight. Don't want to be getting warnings that early in the race. Why are you so... So so loose in that turn. In the dry, I haven't been so loose there. It's really weird. I'm loose in general, it feels like. That's not good, because everybody caught up to me now. I got no chance. I don't know, man. My car is not on par.
try heaven once again. No DRS for me, DRS for Kimi. Great diamond, boys. Keep current. Understood, copy that. These softs are fine. Sorry, these supers are fine. I think. My average pace was around 7th place. So I'm not surprised I'm being passed left, right and center. I don't think I have the fastest car. Not even close. Give me it's good. I can have some DRS. Maybe fend off Vettel and Hamilton. The distance to the leader is 2.3 seconds. Hi, Kimi. Bye, Kimi. Break it and we got him. He has an issue, so hopefully he can hold Fatal and Hamilton back for a little bit. He's not exactly absolutely off the pace. It's not the cure of all diseases. Maybe some temporary solution. I'm supposed to be beaten on lap six. Next time around, the pit window has opened. There's a point of stretching it out. Somebody just dove to bits, I believe. Not willing to lose time behind Kimi. No! Fuck you! No, 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 stop. Stop. I'm not doing it again. I'm not doing it again.
if there's screen hitch which basically takes control over my car in the middle of a turn I'm not gonna tolerate it especially in such a difficult turn I'm gonna be using all the flashbacks I never fix my fuckers with a flashback or whatever a game is throwing at me Still at 50. I think I can still go. I think I can do one more. Bit this lap. The gap to teammate is 11.6 seconds. Okay, we can take you this lap. It was fail trying to have an undercut or lose one of those. There was quite a gap to them there. But we have to pit this lap to cover off! Oh, fuck. That might have cost us. Yeah, we absolutely have to pit this lap. Alright boys, let's go, good stop. I need a good stop. Go, go, go. 2.4, good stop boys, good stop. There's Lewis behind us. I believe he was the one trying the undercut on us. So we stayed alive. Not sure for how long. An extra lap is gonna help us on soft stuff. Because they were supposed to drop off dramatically one lap before our window. Since we managed to save that lap, I don't think we're gonna have a drop off. Get the RS. And 
loose is on a flyer. Have to go defensive. He's bubbling me from behind. He definitely wants third. He's definitely faster than me. Doesn't mean I'm gonna bend over backwards and let him take him. Fuck you, troll. That was way too aggressive. But I don't care. Hamilton got through as well. Troll saw me on the inside and still went for it though. I didn't damage my car, but I don't care about anything else. There's Bottas in front of me. Now. Just is gone. Yikes. Here's Kimmy with a fossil slap. That's interesting. I guess they fixed whatever they had with this car. Remember that I still have excess fuel. Everybody else is gonna be on uh, super softs for the last stint. So I want excess fuel till the very end. So I burn it at the end. Sideways, no biggie. Hamilton is struggling a little bit. He overtook Stroll and then he basically stayed in right in front of Stroll. No bodice is running away with it, that's for sure. Okay, some information on Raikkonen. They seem to have an issue. Intermittent issue for Raikkonen. Set the fastest lap and then it struck again. Don't think he's gonna have a good race. Finally started to gain some time over stroll. I don't know how it relates to me. Alcorn's out in front. Alcorn's in front. He's trying to one stopper. Doesn't make much sense. 
นะครับThere's checker in there, so I guess both Pro Sidious is trying something. Because they weren't surprisingly fast in the queue. Oh, Lewis lost some time. Maybe there's an issue on Lewis' car. Or maybe Stroll decided to close the door even harder on him and broke something. If Hamilton's struggling and Raikkonen's car being a bitch. Bottas is in front. I still have no idea where Fettel is. But as soon both four cities and front fellows should be behind me. Judging by Forsyndia's pace, they are indeed trying to one stop her. Because it don't seem particularly fast. I need to clear him. Hopefully I'm gonna get there by the DRS zone. And clear him on a straight. It'll be the fastest and the least painful way. Alright, check out. And he went to pits. That's annoying. Alright, doesn't matter. What is now fast and awkward for the lead? I'm trying to. Both losing time, that's the only thing I know for sure. With a variety of tactics here, I don't even know who is where anymore. Just gonna race my race, and with a few to go, Gonna see where everyone is. One thing I know for sure is Bottas effectively leading the race. I don't know where did all all can come from, but. He never passed me and I don't think he ever passed Bottas. There goes Bottas, let's see if Ocon pits. Yep, there goes Ocon in the pit lane. Bottas is not that far away actually. He lost a lot of time. Lost a lot of time catching up, but... He'll have super softs 
for the last stand. I will have softs, but I will pit earlier than him. Too wide, lost some time. Now when I have to perform this, like hitching every 10 seconds. Now Modus has the base on me. Could've just been held back. He's getting away. Into the pits, that's Hamilton, that's Fettel behind him. Hamilton dives into pits, is he doing a three stopper? Then he is a no contender. Or is he going to mediums and try to last till the end now? That is weird. Still 12 laps, that's a lot. He's on softs, they will be screaming. He's on supers, they're not lasting. There's Fettel. Found him. Okay, Fettel didn't have any issues, so he's still a contender. Gonna keep an eye on him. Fettel pitting, switching to mediums. That's weird. Fernando has come into the pits. There's Kimi. Oh, that's why. Fettel spent the entire race on softs, he's either going on super softs or on mediums. And I think he burned his softs completely. That's a shame. Oh, well, that's Fettel out of contention. Now what to do with Bottas? I'm gonna do the opposite of what he does. He pits, staying out. Pit this lap. Understood, stopping this lap.
I need the monster up now. All the souls on mediums, they all burn their tires. I'm gonna be on soft. Boys. Let's go, boys. Might be my savior right here. Oh, come on, come on. Go, go now. Come on, I'm gonna be ahead. I think I'm gonna be ahead. VSC ending. We're going green. Maintain positive delta until. Who is that? Is that Bottas? That's bought us, but we're right behind. Oh, buddy. This just got very interesting. He wasted his prime lap of undercut because of a virtual safety car. More yellows ahead. Now we're starting to play the game Chase the Fin. Do I have the pace because of a compound? Is the question. Oh, it's gonna be difficult. I'm back here. Still fast, still very fast. Come to Papa about us. Just need to get into the RS range.
Nice. Quite there yet. Still have time. Still enough time. You've knocked the front wing. The damage only looks minor, but you'll need to take it easy to avoid making the problem worse. Oh. That's it, that's the race. Broke a bit harder than I expected and that's the wing. It doesn't help the, the fucking hitching. I'm done. Fuck! Come on! Oh, that's so annoying. It was my win. All because he decided to break a little bit earlier. Come on! Don't slap a penalty on me. Uh, everything is going wrong now. It was our win. And I just gave it away. And now Pedal is probably gonna pass us.
occupying some speed all of a sudden. And of course it has to be the right flap, since the majority of the turns here are right. The right flap is gonna hurt way more. Thanks, Hitch. That's what I needed. Yeah, I won't be able to hold fell back. No way. He's already here. It's like a tiny fucking bit of fucking front wing. Absolutely ruined the car. Two seconds a lap slower instantly. Might even lose the podium. Be careful not to get a penalty. Try to do something. I'm not sure what I can do. Yep. Nothing I can do. Fifteen seconds talk on I'm safe for third place. I had a win. I died, that was not bodice. Oh, come on! I didn't even leave the track! I didn't even leave the track! Oh, come on! That's bullshit. Uh, it doesn't matter, but still. That's okay, annoying. Leader, 7.5 seconds. Hamilton got Alcon. Even if he's closing to a lap, two laps to go. About 10 seconds. Our gap to still. our teammate is 44.9 seconds. I'm still safe. The gap to the car ahead is 2.9 seconds. What? 
Not gonna slap a penalty on me this time. He makes it pits. What's he doing in pits on the penultimate lap? I think the damage is getting worse with the worn tires. Like, it's almost undrivable. Look at this, the front right flap just slide a little bit damaged. Caused me the win and the second place as well. Yeah. This is your final lap, final lap of the race. Such is life, I guess. Hamilton is not gaining much. That's another podium for McLaren, but this one I'm, instead of being happy with, I am very disappointed in. This was the real chance for my first win. I threw it away with one mistake. More yellows. Somebody died again. Yep. Somebody dead. Oh, that's Bottas! Ha! He's continuing, but he spun out. Okay. Well, that's second place. Still. It's a podium. It's not a win. I'll take an extra position now. Hopefully. Still have a three second penalty. So I still need to push a little bit. To make sure I'm three seconds ahead of Bottas. Battle wins the race, being absolutely nowhere. Cross the finish line first, take the second place. That was an excellent drive. After Bottas spins on the last lap, I guess. Maybe he had a puncture because of that collision. Slow puncture, that's also possible. Whatever happened, we lost the win. Oh well, it happens. A great win then for the Marinello team today. And Anthony Davidson, give me your thoughts. How did they accomplish this result? Well, I think the track conditions just really suited their car today. Wind, track temperature, you name it. These cars come alive when the tyres are just at the right temperature. So the more easily you can keep them there, the better your race tends to go. And that's exactly what happened. Their car just looks so comfortable out there. And as we can see, it's time for the podium. And as the drivers make their way out, there's a familiar red suit making its way to the top step. Fantastic win for Ferrari. So then, it's time to see how this result affects the Drivers' Championship. It's a good result for Valtteri Bottas who extends his advantage at the top of the championship. Now then, Anthony Davidson, who was your driver of the day? Difficult call, Crofty, but I'd like to say Sergio Perez. He's just so gifted at getting the most out of his tyres, and he showed that here today. And now, let's take a look at the constructors' standings. Mercedes have extended their lead at the top of the standings. After all that excitement, it's time for a lie-down, I think. Thanks for joining us, and goodbye until the next race. In the championship, due to the second place, we are just one point behind Checo Perez and slowly creeping towards Max Verstappen and maybe even Danny Ricciardo. The rest are as good as gone. But towards the end of a championship, the race for the third best team is getting heated. Both Ocon and Perez, as we expected, went for a one stopper. Ocon netted 6th place because of it, Fernando went for 3 stopper, Kimi Raikkonen, Lance Stroll and Danny Kvyat 
all down fur line a lap down Alonso being a bit useless with that said next race maybe this time we'll get a win in Malaysia we gave it away and hopefully next race will be better thank you so much for watching until next time this is goodbye